Good morning. Welcome to another session of OCD. Welcome to my workshop. Um, just come out in the workshop this morning to potter about as my wife and daughters have gone Christmas shopping. Um, and that's going to cost me an arm and a leg, I know that. Um, but I thought I'd come out here and just tidy up a little bit. I've got some towels to put away and a few other little bits and pieces. Um, and whenever I come out in the, in the workshop, I always find other things to do. And then I thought, well, I've washed and waxed the X3 the other day, if you saw my last video. Um, I really need to get in and, and hoover it um, and I'll give all the uh, all the surfaces a bit of a, a clean um, when I clean my interior surfaces like the uh, the uh, piano black uh, gloss surfaces I always use garage therapy uh, to quick detailer but before I put that on I always use a really soft brush just to dust it off first before I, I use a detailer on it um, and by doing that I mean the car is coming up to four years old now and that interior hasn't got a single mark on it purely because I've you know been very careful with it and this is a um, this is a very very soft brush it's a ladies makeup brush um, not one that I normally use personally you, you understand um, but yeah so I use this just to dust it all off and then I've got a very soft cloth where I apply the um, detailer and then gently buff it off no pressure just gently just the weight of the cloth almost and you can do that with uh, with GT um, 2 detail it really comes off very very nicely um, so I'll do that on the inside also I thought I'd give a bit of an update on the um, uh, Cock Cami GUF this is a product that I applied um, I don't know four five maybe six months ago I don't know and I applied it to all my um, uh, my uh, rubber mats floor mats um, and the idea of this is that it leaves a surface that um, where you, you don't want it to slip so ideal for, for mats really um, and it says on the on the back that it's um, uh, all interior plastic parts for which slip resistance is necessary and my experience of this is that really is the case it really is I was really pleased with it all I would say is when you put it on you put it on you leave it to dry I would recommend you leave it to dry for at least an hour before you um, use the mats and I found that um, really was very effective I've had no slippage issues on the mats whatsoever um, and they're easy to clean um, so yeah I, I really like that if you're looking for something to treat your um, uh, slip free surfaces rubber or plastic slip free surfaces then i suggest you give a uh, cock cami guf a go because i really like it um, so we're going to uh, give another coat to the mats uh, today clean the interior put these away uh, and i'm going to like i said i'm going to hoover the car and i've got a um a hose protector for my for my hoover for my vacuum cleaner and this one's from um, paragon and it's a really nice soft one fits on really nicely now this is an extent uh, an extendable hose um, but we'll uh, we're going to use that this morning as well so uh, there we go lots of little bits and pieces so sun's come out nice peaceful Sunday I've had my cup of coffee with a bit of luck I won't get interrupted for quite a while so let's uh, let's go and potter about with the car shall we Let's turn the hoover on first. do with that is I don't actually touch the surface I just go above the surface and you can see um, quite a bit of dust just come off um, so it takes like the, the heavy bits off um, and then I just go around just gently brush any dust off and like I said you know the cars coming up to four years old now and there's not a single 
single mark on this uh, black trim and that's uh, just by being careful really and we get I've got a nice soft cloth give it a little bit of a sprinkle over and I just use the weight of the cloth really I don't put any any pressure on just go around all my all the surfaces just using literally just using the weight of the cloth and then that little bit in there underneath the handbrake switch just give that a second or two and I've got this really really soft cloth that I got from um, Paragon it's beautiful it's really nice and soft and literally again slight you put a little bit of pressure on but not much and that's just goes round and makes it look like a mirror and that's all I do to the it's the only treatment I give the uh, interior I don't use anything else and it looks like new We'll, uh, we'll have a close-up of that in a minute um, and then again the same for the for the dash should have done this first I suppose but never mind I don't want you people thinking I'm perfect <laughs> although my wife did say the other day I suppose you're bloody perfect then and if she says I'm perfect I must be and it's ideal for the the sat nav screen as well or the info screen whatever you want to call it and again just a little bit of a spray on here and just use the weight of the cloth there's no real dirt on it it's just dust really so you haven't got to be too detailed about it or oh, I haven't been I haven't got to be and again hardly any pressure at all it's nearly all it's nearly just the weight of the of the cloth just with a little bit of pressure I suppose from my fingers but very very gentle And there's a, uh, a close-up and as you can see it is absolutely spotless there are no marks on that at all and that's just by being a little bit careful and again that's all nice and clean and shiny up there So that's all of the flat surfaces on the inside now cleaned uh, and treated with uh, GT2 Quick Detailer. That's the front, let's go to the back. Same, same there. And around there as well. Right, 
let's uh, let's clean these uh, grubby mats shall we okay you can uh, rinse these down first if you want but I'm just gonna use a an APC rubber mats like this, any APC really, if you, you, know, you can use all sorts of things, interior cleaners, but APC was there, ready to use, so let's well use it. And I just use one of my cloths that I normally use for the engine bay or the wheels. I've got a, an old applicator here that I use for all this sort of stuff and just go over it. Not the best selling, best selling, it's not the best smelling product you've ever used so I'll leave it out here to air for a while. Like I said before, give it an hour let it dry thoroughly Brand new, don't they? Here's the uh, little soft sleeve for the uh, hose attachment that I got from um, Paragon. I'll put all the links on below. Um, right, so let's just hoover this out now. So, gonna make a noise. I always try and keep this off of the seals anyway um, but if you do drop it on it then you know it's got very little chance of uh, of uh, marking it so yeah really pleased with it all right let me uh, clean those pedals while I've uh, while I'm fiddling about here I've got the APC out so might as well just use it
try not to get in your way, but uh, it's not easy. Yeah, so that's all nice and clean now, ready for the uh, rubber mats to go back. Lovely jubbly. So there, result of uh, nice little Sunday morning's work. Looks uh, looks lovely, doesn't it? Nice and clean. Ready to hit the road again. Right, so there, a useful Sunday morning. I think you'll agree with me. Um, so uh, garage therapy uh, two quick detail on the um, nice hard shiny surfaces of the car uh, nice soft brush to dust any dust off with uh, and then just a couple of really nice soft cloths to um, uh, apply and to buff off and i just use the weight of the cloths almost to apply and to buff that off um, got chemi guf on the uh, mats um, you see it come up really nice and clean, apply it, leave it for a while before you put it back in the car, it doesn't smell that great. Um, but really is good for surfaces where you don't want to slip on. Um, and then I use the uh, little sock for my uh, vacuum hose from Paragon. Um, and uh, that was really good. I mean, I always try really hard not to let the hose drag on the seals anyway, um, but that's really extra protection. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I've got to put all these uh, towels away now. Um, I won't bore you with that. Um, so, upcoming, I'm hoping this week to get hold of my neighbour's car that I applied new finish too so I'm hoping to uh, review the performance of that this week I've also lined up a car that um, is used by a plasterer um, for his work or did he, he did use it for his work so I want to do an internal clean on that and you, I haven't seen it but I'm imagining that's quite a state so um, I'll be interested to have a look at that and see what sort of mess I've got to clear up and it'll be a good car a good grubby car I'm assuming that we can uh, that we can have a look at so there are a couple of things that are coming up I've got another car um, that looks like my uh, eldest daughter has driven it through a field so we'll we'll give uh, some snow foam and uh, pre-wash a good test on that so there are some of the things that are coming up um, whether I'll get them done before Christmas or not I don't know um, and in case I don't get anything done before Christmas I'm wishing you and your families a really nice Merry Christmas but more importantly I wish you all every single one of you a really happy but healthy new year so until next time you guys take care bye bye